hold on a minute. He just called me his little buddy. Stand over here. Okay, now wait, did what you call me? Hard-headed little buddy. Could you take the little part off of that? Hard-headed. I'll go for the hard-headed buddy. How you doing, my friend? VP, right? VP? Yes, VP. Hold on. Uh, I don't remember. I know VP. They call you the MVP. Vernon Pierce. Yes. 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 Man, I don't, I don't know what I had for lunch yesterday. But or did I even have that. lunch yesterday? Man, I'm hungry. I remember that. I remember that. Good to see you, Vernon. Good to see you too, buddy. I hope that it, yeah, I can see tell, you. Tell Jamie I said hello. Dog. Yes. Gosh darn it. Is he here today? No. Oh. But, I, but I could use some help with yeah, all I this feed. Help. I got you. <laughs> Thank you, Vernon. Did I ever get so lucky? You know what? How blessed am I to have Jamie? Even though she's not with me, he's still helping me. Just so I'll tell her hi when I, I get back ask. home. I did that. Just, yeah, he did ask. And he says, make sure you tell her hi when you get home. I'm like, yeah, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. This is great. All right, so we have a little problem here. Uh, I didn't know we left any strings on that hay but somehow our big guy has found one. Big guy has found a string. And as you can see, it's wrapped around the horn there and it drapes all the way along into the roll of hay. So I do have a box cutter with me. Oh my goodness, but oh Lord. So it actually goes under his leg. <laughs> oh my gosh, guy. We ain't seen this kind of behavior in a while. Don't look at me like that. Now look, you got, it's all around your ears. Oh, and there it goes. Hey, did you not see that? Did you not see what he did? See, razor sharp ears, guys. It's one thing y'all never think about with Longhorns is their razor sharp ears. He, twinkle, he twinkles his ears and off pops the string. And you, you saw it, you saw it right there on the video. There was no trick photography. There were no cuts, no edits. That's just the way these longhorns are adapt to their environment. That right there is what you get when you get a longhorn. And uh, Charlene, how are your ears coming along? Sweetie, are your ears razor sharp too like your daddy's? And your little nubs are growing out. That's cute. All right. I'm going to get that string picked up right now. Folks, Lester here. And uh, look where I am. Look where I am. Talk about a little piece of heaven. Listen, folks. Um, I'm going to say something that's probably going to offend a lot of people. And I don't mean it that way. It just, it's not going to come out right. It's not going to come out right. But I'm just going to say it. It's been nice having Jamie's family in town for the last several days. But it's also been very tiring. The days leading up to her family's visit, uh, I found myself spending the entirety of the day out in the sun, in the heat, the, the, we had rain one day, and I'm working, I'm doing jobs, getting everything cleaned up and tidied up at both properties, because you really want to make your, you know, your best impression. Uh, these are folks who've never been here before, so their first time, you know, seeing the properties. And that was a lot of work. And then I had no time to recoup before, they arrive. <laughs> now listen, they're lovely people. Jessica and Jalen are just wonderful people, but they're early birds and they're they're late nighters. And I'm thinking, and they and they go, 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 and I have no time for me. And Lester is at the age where I need some me time, and I'm not getting that. Now I don't think they watch my channel, so I hope to God they don't see this. But if they do, let me just say that you're lovely folks. I love you so much. I've, you know, I just love you so much and Jamie loves you, but uh, Lester's tired. I'm just so tired. And today I'm at Tractor Supply and I'm finally getting a little bit of me time. So I'm gonna take my sweet time in here today. I'm not gonna rush through. Uh... Could we do that today? Could you guys possibly share some of your stories? about I just want to know if I'm sick or not am I just a total sicko or am I validated 
in what I'm saying about enjoying family time, but I also enjoy the me time that I, you know, am I just a total sicko or a, am I being a jerk or am I validated? Let's hear your stories. All right, well, I just got word that today, Jamie wants to take Jessica and Jalen to the Mexican flea market. Now guys, there's nothing racist with, with what I just said. It is it is a Mexican flea market. And we've been there before, it's really neat. It's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an educational experience, it, to say the least. Anyway, we'll take you guys along. But I was thinking about something just now. Leaving truck to supply and my spirits are lifted. And I remember that my dad used to always, once he retired from teaching, he used to get in his truck every morning and he would go to the local feed store. And from there he'd go over to McCoy's, which is our, our building supplier. And then he would sometimes swing by the bus barn where he had friends who worked. And then he'd come back home by whatever time and he never to unload anything. He wasn't buying stuff. He was getting out of the house just to have some time with 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 good people and that's kind of how i feel when i go to church supply i mean from everybody they are so nice to us good and just good people i like vernon vp the um, thing is he told me that his wife and he rescued a beaver when it was just a baby mama had gotten run over and that beaver was on the side of the road with his mama, wouldn't leave his mama. And so he picked it up and they somehow put his shirt over it and grabbed it and took it home. And they've raised it. It's an adult now. And his wife has built a cement pond, a cement pond. And uh, that beaver lives there. They took and they, I think they turned upside down an old doghouse or something. So it kind of lives in that doghouse in that cement pond, which is really cute. And he says, it's very gentle. They can walk out and feed it and it eats out of your hand. And it's just the cutest thing. And I says, Vernon, I says, get pictures of that. I want some video of that thing to share with you all. But no, I'm headed back home. And at some point, we're going to make our way to the flea market. And uh, we'll bring you guys along if, if y'all want to come along. But uh, it, it'll... Here we go again. Here we go again. No, I'm joking. And if Jessica does ever watch any of these videos or Jalen, I don't think they do but if they do, you better know that I'm just kidding because I am enjoying every minute with you guys. Yes, I am. But how long until Sunday? How long until Sunday? <laughs> That's when they leave. We are having a few concerns about our horses and donkeys and these are concerns that we felt that we had with the uh, with the other cows as well. And so to combat, well, we feel like they're not getting enough nutrition off the pastures. I mean, come on, guys. We already said it, we've talked about it so many times, it's hard to keep talking about. But uh, we're just, even though we've gotten a couple of rains recently, we're not really getting much production out of our grass. So we bought them a special formula feed that we're hoping will help a little bit. It's good to see them come running and that they have an appetite. I'm gonna take and feed the cows as well. Same, the same kind of feed. It's not our usual sweet feed. Now I did buy some sweet feed, but this is a different type of feed that's made to provide the energy that they need when times are harsh. And uh, I also got them a block. Let me drive over real fast and we'll talk more about it. Hey, buddy. Hi, guys. Charlene, would you get over here? We're trying to do a feed up in video. Um, there's no guarantees they're going to like it. You don't always want to mix up feeds if you don't have to because their tummies get used to stuff. Come on, buddy. Come on. Slick, 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 slick. So I'm going to kind of ease them into it. I'm not going to put out a whole lot. And like I said, they may sniff it and walk right by. They may have no interest at all. Come on. But uh, if they will eat it, I think it'll be well worth the extra money. Mmm. See, you can see it's not what they're usually used to. Well, she's like, heck, I'll eat it. It tastes good to me. Come here, Charlene. 
This is for Charlene, not for you. Let her have some. Come on, baby. Come eat with mama. Come eat with your mama. So Tex is being very finicky. He's like, I don't know about this, man. What are you trying to pass by on me? What are you trying to pass by on me, daddy? And the answer is nothing. Charlene, you got your very own pile right there beside your mama. No, she's just going to eat with her. There we go. Charlene, eat your... Tex is like, what else you got in that side by side? Well, I actually do have something else, friends. Let me show you. This is, here we go. It's a Nutri-Beef 37% range block. Now, I don't exactly know what this is going to provide for them that they can't get out of their feeds. And you know that this is not a range cube, so don't get that confused. It's a, called a range block. And I don't exactly know. No, Tex has no interest in the new, new feed whatsoever. He's kind of nibbling on Charlene's a little bit. Let me put this block out and see what they do. Hold on. All right, so I don't know exactly. I'll read more about what this thing provides. Charlene's gonna be the first one to try it out though, which is cute. She's like, what do we got here? So you know that we already provide deworming blocks, mineral blocks, salt blocks, sulfur blocks. All those we keep out year round. But uh, this little block here is called a range block. And I, there's, I didn't find anything on the packaging to tell me why you feed it. But it is something new that I saw they had at Tractor Supply. And I'm like, you know what, I'll see what the cows do with it. I mean, it can't hurt, right? They will sort of let you know what their bodies need. And if they can smell something in that block that their bodies need, then they'll start licking on it. Santana's going to go ahead and rub her scent all over it and try to <laughs> lay claim to it, though. <laughs> That's cute. Look at them horns. Look at them horns. Wow. Well, we got some dogs down in the pond, which is also pretty cute. That's with Charlie. Charlie's a good dog. Uh, I don't want to take away his content, but my son, Lex, you know he has his very own little YouTube channel. And he's talking a lot about, he's done a lot with the dogs in his channel. He's talked, he's talking about Brutus and some issues that Brutus has that we haven't made a whole big fuss about, but they're becoming more evident. He talks about Echo. He talk, and he just kinda, I'll, I'll just let you watch the video. But it's really neat to see a different, especially a kid's perspective on things and see the way they talk about it and the way he describes it. And I love him so much. He's working so hard trying to make a career for himself at the age of 11. <laughs> I know, at the age of 11. It's hot, y'all. It's hot. I was wearing a new hat. I didn't want to sweat in it. So I'm going to take it off until I get back up and put on an old cap. But, uh, no, Charlie is doing amazing. I would say that, uh, I'll just go ahead and kind of summarize real fast for you. The, the dogs who we are concerned with right now are Buddy, Brutus, and Echo. Everyone else seems to be doing wonderful. If you want a dog report. Our cows and horses, were they are a constant worry. Just because of the lack of vegetation for them. Our goats are doing amazing, and so are our big birds. But I'm happy to see that they're, they're at least nibbling on this new feed. I will slowly begin to work it into their daily diet and see if it kind of helps give them a little boost. But uh, what we're noticing is that the cows and horses are pretty much spending the entire day just sitting and laying in the shade. They're not working to forage because there's nothing to forage or graze. There's nothing. And so they, they're not going to exert their energy on walking around getting nothing. So I want you to notice something. Lex and I come, Lex and I come riding down the road. Uh, this is just down the road from Longhorn Lester's. This is actually across the street from Longhorn Lester's and down just a, just a dab. Look at all of the cattle. Look at all of the cows. And guys, they, the cattle extend as far as the eye can see 
and seriously, as far as the eye can see, which is many miles all across through there, you see cows everywhere. And uh, look at the grass. I don't understand how longhorn lusters can be so close in proximity, yet our grass is so different. And it makes me wonder, did these guys plant this grass at some point? Or did Longhorn Lester's former owner plant a different kind of grass? Because for some reason, we have no grass and they have tons. But uh, no, what, I'm, what I, I wished Longhorn Lester's had this kind of grass. We wouldn't be so this concerned is, is, about is, Tex and his family, our horses. And, uh, and you can't say it's because they have enough acres to run this many cows. I mean, we, we're running three cows and two horses and two donkeys on 10 acres, which is plenty plenty by by the ratio but it's a different kind of grass that we have and i just don't know how what if we move tex and the other longhorns to this field yeah right i will hand feed my bull before i <laughs> give them away don't let your troubles fester Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.